Hello and welcome to the Continuum Mini Garden build video. This is where I will be showing you how to make your very own 10th scale model of the Continuum Garden. Um, whether you print the pieces yourself or you received them as a perk from the Indiegogo campaign, and this is the instruction manual. So first of all, for those of you who are receiving the um, Continuum Mini Garden as a um, as a perk from the Indiegogo campaign, <clears throat> it comes partially pre-assembled. So basically the uh, LED light and the little wheels uh, are already put together. So um, you only have to put the um, main wheel together with the spokes and the boxes and you're good to go. So <clears throat> in this first part of the video I will be concentrating on the LED light and um, the uh, part that holds the batteries. So the first thing is to get some solder on the pin of the LED. So this is really simple, um, the switch has tiny tiny little pins, so what I do is I um, make a loop by hand at the end of the wire, tight loop, I bend this little pin inwards, put this thing around here and bend the pin. So there we go. Excellent. There, I have the um, switch and I have the, the lamp. So now I just need to uh, connect them through the base and to the uh, battery compartment. If you look at the, um, the hole for the switch, you can kind of see where you have to, how you have to bend these wires to fit them through. They will just poke out the other side. Okay, let's do this. Okay, excellent. Okay, so um, the next step is um, a bit crude, an invention of my own. I have these uh, little wood screws here, or whatever you call them. They are conductive, so um, so they work for this. And um, I cut them down to uh, this size. So um Okay, so here we go. The switch is now attached to these two screws that you can see in there. And uh, they're of course going to uh, stick to the, uh, to the end of the battery. Here you go. So for the other side, I had something a little more sophisticated in mind. There are two um, holes meant to fit a little spring so um, that is what these little fellers are for so uh, uh, before we can uh, connect uh, connect it to the battery parts here we need to um, first assemble it which incidentally fits right in there So uh, I guess you can see where this is going. It's here, all pretty fancy. But um, 
for now I need to uh, fit these two wires down to these two holes. Something like that. Give my little marker and mark off where to strip them. Cool. Okay, so now I'm ready to um, put these little springs into the base and they're going to be holding the other end of the battery. I flared the end of these uh, slightly, so um, I don't know if you can see that. Little spring. The way I do this is I just grab um, a single strand, a single thread from the um, spring and I squeeze it with my pliers like this. And there you go. Something like that. Great, so I have my springs and um, they are going in here but first of course I have to uh, connect them to the uh, wires here so that's very simple. I'm just going to twist the wire around. Um, doesn't really have to be too precise or anything. And we're good to go. So before I do anything else, I take the um, the one at the front and I pull it to exactly the length that I need for the spring to fit into the hole here. Now any kind of glue I would do for this, I guess, but I'm using my trusty hot glue gun. And it's, um, it's a bit tricky to actually get in here and uh, do what's needed, but... Um, so I'm just gonna fill up the hole that... Uh, the, I'm starting with the one at the back. I'm gonna fill it up completely with glue and then I'm going to pull this wire so that the uh, spring ends up halfway submerged in the glue. Okay, so I'm just holding the uh, spring in place while the glue sets a little bit. So uh, there goes the first one. At the back there, you probably can't see it. So the trick is to first uh, make very sure that uh, you've got the right length of wire in there. And then once uh, you're totally certain, you bend the spring out of the way, like that. And you hit it with the glue gun. Okay, so I got both springs into place. The stock, the glue, and everything is fine. So there are four wheels. Two of them are gears, and two of them are just plain wheels. And they have a little hole in them, which is just big enough for a three millimeter screw and for the wheel to just idle on there. Nice. Um, except for one of the gears, this one, which has a smaller hole, it prints with a tiny little hole, which you then uh, drill out. I used my trusty Dremel. So I uh, just drilled it out from the back, from the printed surface, and almost all the way through. So that you leave a couple of millimeters of uh, just a small hole. That way, when you screw uh, on the uh, three millimeter screw from the hand crank, it will um, it will stick here at the end. So, so let's do this. <coughs> I'm going to start with the uh, three idler wheels. 
uh, keep in mind that the um, hand crank um, goes on the, uh, the part of the frame which is a little bit fatter so this part here has the hand crank in it so the other gear has to go over here let's start with that so um, I grab the gear dump it in there and Opposite, plain little wheel. <clears throat> the last of the idle wheels. Okay, so I have all the uh, three idler wheels in place now and it's time for the last space here which uh, is the hand crank first of all you uh, make a hole in this because there's an extra little wall in there because of the uh, printing process then you uh, thread the screw through Okay, it's all the way in. Then you get the uh, little nuts. Nice. Okay, so <clears throat> for those of you who are um, who uh, received the uh, Continuum Garden as a perk from the Indiegogo campaign. Uh, this is where you have to uh, pick up because this <coughs> this is the state in which you will receive the continuum garden. Now we have to uh, fit it on the garden by using the uh, wheel, of course, to hold it in place. So this time you're not threading into the base; you're instead threading into the, uh, the little wheel. Here on the other side, right there, and you're good to go. What's left to do now is assemble the main wheel, of course, with all the struts and the boxes. So let's get this out of the way and start putting some wheel together. So this is really simple. You grab whichever one of these you prefer and you start fitting these into the little holes there. Don't force it too much, just push it in, listen to this, there you go, pops in and uh, you have to lift it up from the table because uh, the uh, rails actually stick out a little bit on the other side. So don't force it, the holes are more than big enough, pop, there goes another one, so um, almost there. Some of them might be a little bit uh, tighter or a little bit looser but uh, it's not something to worry about. There. Okay, so that's the easy part. Now the hard part is getting the other wheel um, onto all 15 of these at the same time. So you hold the thing with one hand while <coughs> you just uh, wiggle the other uh, the tips of the other rails inside. So I'm going to put it down on the flat surface and just um, put my hand on top and kind of wiggle it down like this. And I can feel these uh, rails popping through one by one. Let's, uh, let's put it on the garden and see how that goes. You just need to uh, fit the lamp on there. These uh, lamp supports here are really simple. The, uh, the base is printed with a slot. It goes in here all the way down and the plastic is just one layer or two layers on each side and it's quite loose so so uh, you basically just fit one corner into here 
in the central hole and then just slip it down. There you go. Excellent. And um, put in the wheel. Nice. You got the little hand crank spinning. And uh, so now it's just uh, all that's left to do is put on the other side of the lamp support. Slide it in there. And um, we're good to go. If you uh, printed the continuum garden yourself, then, um, then your boxes come in a package like this. So this is printed with a um, raft uh, that uh, helps them to stick to the print surface. So of course you have to get rid of the uh, bottom layer of plastic and it's really simple. You just uh, you start here at the, uh, at the back and you just peel it off basically. So grab each box with the two fingers and peel off the bottom layer. And there you go. The easiest way to get these boxes in here is to hold each one between three fingers like this and then uh, push it with two fingers up against the uh, up against one rail and use the two fingers to slip the other side underneath the second rail. So the only thing that I have left to do now is uh, put the batteries in. Um, I've arranged the uh, the polarity of the lamp so that for the first battery you have to um, put the positive term the positive um, end on the spring. So you just put that end on the spring and push the other one down over the screw. Just be careful how hard you you push everything, and the other one goes the opposite way around. There you go. Nice.